man. What's up? What's Congratulations up? on the win. How does it feel? Uh, feels good, man. We were very well prepared for this one, so it's always it's always feels good to put together everything we've been training for. Yeah. Do you feel like this is the biggest win of your career? I feel like that was a real statement you just made. Um. Yeah. I mean, the like when you're moving up like now, like I have been um, on on a streak again, ranked. I think uh, every fight, every next fight's the the biggest one. You know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, obviously, he was a really tough guy. Nobody's been able to, to give him that one in the uh, the loss column. Does that add any extra to this whole thing that you, you were the first one to figure out a puzzle, so to speak? No, I mean, it gave me no, like, I can't, everyone kept asking me that. And I was like, I give two shits about giving him his first loss. I know I'm going to win. I don't care if it's his third loss, fourth loss, fifth loss. Uh, I just knew I was going to be, I, I knew that I was going to be the winner of this one. I, we were able to break him down, and I felt like I was better everywhere. No doubt. And, um, were you guys surprised at all that you weren't higher up on the card? I feel like this was a pretty big fight for the bantamweight division. Um, yeah, it definitely was. Definitely, was, but I mean, it's on. Uh, it was also on ABC, so I don't know if they're trying to like spread it out. And um, and then Misha got bumped over. And I, I honestly, when I heard she was gonna be on the card, I was like, I'm probably getting kicked off the main card. <laughs> yeah. Well, you still caught a lot of people's attention, and uh, afterwards, you you made your call it on the microphone, Sean O'Malley. Do you, do you feel like that uh, he'll accept that offer? I really don't care if he does or not. Uh, I, I want to fight someone in the top 10. I think that's what I deserve at this point. Um, that was my 10th UFC fight, 8th UFC win. And um, I think I'm, re I, I'm definitely ready um, to, for that bump up in competition. I need, I need a bigger name, someone, someone ranked higher this time. No doubt. Do you feel like you're kind of turning that, that corner in your career finally where you're kind of really putting out these, these consistent performances and people can start calling you a contender? Well, I've mostly been consistent with the wins, but it's being more consistent with the finishes. That's what the UFC wants. That's what the fans want. And that is what I'm producing now. So, but, I mean, I, I think I deserve that bump now. Great. Thanks. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Will from 77 WABC Sports. Uh, so I noticed on your Instagram you have uh, a lot of pictures of, you know, enjoying some nice beers and everything, uh, spe spe specifically uh, Stella Artois. So are you going to throw a few of those back tonight or what? Uh, yeah, I mean, usually after a fight I like to grab a Modelo. That's that's my go-to. Nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, of course, I, that, that's that's probably why I'm the strongest band away in the world is because uh, all the all the local beer I try to drink. I love it, man. Congrats. Yeah, thanks. Mike, 70 in WABC Sports as well. Let's go to the food now. Obviously, you've been cutting weight for a while. Do you have a go-to meal after a big win? Um, yeah, usually like uh, a steak, but we got a big, we got some big steaks last night refueled. Uh, so um, I don't know. I, I hear some great things about about the Italian food and the pizza out here. I haven't been in the East Coast too much, so I, I know I got to dig in some of that. So you have never had just you've never had pizza in like the New York City area yet or anything? I don't I don't think so. I don't think so. You're missing so, out yeah. big time. You should yeah. try that tonight. Okay, that's on, that's on the. He give you some spots as well. There's some yeah. real good food here. Let me know. I will. Thank you. I guess one more for me. Is there is there a time frame you're looking to come back by the end of the year? <clears throat> yeah, um, my wife and I are expecting our first child in November. Um, Thanksgiving, so I would love to fight before that, and then I could spend some time with them after. Don't tell me. That's pretty exciting. Congrats, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I got one more question too. You got emotional at the end of that fight. What, what do you what do you attest that to? Man, it's just, <laughs> I didn't feel like um, our strength of schedule was comparable. Everyone had me as an underdog. You know, I get the kid was 16 and 0, but against who? You know, so uh, yeah, I was pissed. I said I was yelling, "Underdog, what?" You know, so yeah, I was just trying to, you know, make my statement too. Awesome. Congrats on the win. When you look at the guys you lost to a long time ago, right? Uriah is a legend and Rob Font, top contender, and you got to feel really good about your path. Is there, is there, when you're looking at the guys, a pretty packed division, when you're looking at the guys ranked ahead of you and you're looking at the top of the division, what are your thoughts on those guys who are sitting up there right now compared to yourself? Yeah, everyone, every one of those divisions is talented, especially in the top 10, but I don't think anyone mixes it up as well as I do. I can wrestle and I can knock you out. I'm a black belt in jiu-jitsu. Um, I can put you wherever you don't want to be. Do you have a timetable in your mind for when you're looking to maybe be in that title picture? Man, um, a year, two, I, got, I think two or three more. If I keep doing this, I, I could for sure be, be fighting for the title. I, I know I'm right there. Um, uh, Talent-wise, I just don't want to wait so long. Like the, I had a nine lay, nine month layoff before that Sun South fight, six or seven month layoff. Now I, I like, I'm someone who likes to stay busy, so I, I like to fight every three months or so. You know, 
Um, so hopefully um, just keep busy and then that'll make the, the title shot even sooner. Thanks. Congratulations, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. you guys.